All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about what it's like using gore, how to fight him in timeline, even though I do have my opinions on him. I think that he is a relatively useful tune, especially against, I, I would definitely say Warlock. He's very good against Adam Warlock. Pretty good against Emma Frost, but other than that, I think he's very inconsistent, and I can see why there's some protests saying to buff him up a little bit, and I don't disagree with those at all. Those opinions are pretty valid, and I think that even though he could obviously potentially get a uniform in the future, I think that his base kit was sort of rushed and I think they purposely limited it to compensate for the brand new uniforms for tier fours, which I can understand it would be a logical reason, but it just further proves my point that I've been saying for years that people won't diversify their teams in timeline battle, which is where gore should be primarily used because it punishes players that want to try something new because the cost is too high and the effectiveness is overall too low. And I think that the skills aren't really explained well. Like I think if the devs went out of their way to discuss maybe how to use the character and where the character should be utilized, I think that they can gain some PR because I think new players go into this game thinking which character should I build and there are many characters that are in the middle of the you know scale and they just don't know how to use them at all especially in timeline like if, if you want to go on manual and you want to maybe use a different character like saying what what Carl's doing he has to rely on the on the AI to do the job for him whereas I think that Gore should be put in a certain point in the game maybe not first but second or third and I think that people should know which fights he's best utilized in and they should utilize manual play more because uh, Netmarble now released a new feature with the dealer so I could put Thanos lead and I can have Gore first in the match when he's the third on my team. I think it's a really nice addition but now people are abusing it with, with using Hulk first and you know that that makes it even more punishing for, for players because I think now with that addition I think people are now being forced to use manual play much more. So it's the reason why I continue to make my videos because I still feel that there are many players like myself that just want to get as much fun out of the game as they possibly can and they want to utilize their favorite characters even though maybe these characters have been outdated for 12 months, 18 months. And like it doesn't matter if i see a blast character that has damage of a tier four but the delicacy of a tier one i'm gonna try my best to utilize the perks of his attack rather than just leaving him stale for another 18 months and never using him again So with that being said, I'm going to talk more about Gore and why I'm later on going to use him to my advantage because I do know some of his strengths. But his weaknesses, I mean, he gets pretty well taken down by the top seven meta. So that's like people like Sentry, Doctor Doom, Silver Surfer, Thanos. All of those characters do really, really well against Gore kind of easy to avoid Gore's skills. His five has a medium range. Same with his four. 
His four is his best skill to utilize, but you do want to cancel skills in between. I'll showcase that to you guys later when I start to use him. I'm only at level 55 and I have a destruction on him, like a normal destruction, no reforging. And I think it's potentially probably the best CCP I'd give him because I really hate how they got lazy with his first skill and they only applied uh, 80% invincibility to penetration for three seconds and his skill doesn't really ignore targeting, has no ignore iframes. His first skill is actually a skill that puts him in a really, really bad position because it just stuns the opponent, which doesn't do anything. It just has the opponent cancel a skill. And it's just, it, it only works 80% of the time. So you'll see there are instances where he uses his first to, to try and penetrate and it doesn't penetrate at all. So he's just completely wide open. And I don't think that's fair. The best skills to utilize for him are two and three and five potentially if you can cancel it right because his third is a little bit delayed and his fifth is a little bit delayed. I'm saying prioritize those skills after the use of four. Four is the most priority. You wanna use it because it, it has a slight delay, but it has a very, very long iframe. I went and used four teams against A5A Maw, who's dropped to Vibranium as well as Carl. And I saw Carl's ratio and it was the lowest I think I've ever seen. It was almost 78%. And that's pretty crazy. But I haven't seen him since. It was like a couple days ago. But yeah, Silver Surfer's taking him out pretty easily. I think that Gore needs more iframes. His fifth is, is kind of off. Yeah, as you can see, Thanos takes him out pretty easily. That was his first skill. His first skill didn't do enough damage at all. Yeah, I can see why he stopped using it. Gore is definitely not the person that you can rely on to get consistent kills. I still think he's around like top 30 meta though. By the way, in this fight, I have Thanos lead with Absorbing Mana starting, so I get to utilize the benefits of his Awaken skill, which is why I really like the new addition. Alright, here's where I start to use Gore a little bit. I mean, I think in this video, he's going to struggle against Black Widow, definitely. And I, I didn't have any trouble taking him out there. But I think that Black Widow is criminally underrated right now. I think she's actually pretty good, but because Hulk is just so meta, she just can't find a way in. Kind of sucks. I think a CTP of authority is pretty good for her. I think greed is probably a close tie. Maybe it's first.
Yeah, Doom killed him pretty easily too. If if Doom is in an iframe, Gore just cannot use his first skill to negate it. Which is why I think it's just a completely pointless pointless skill. I'd almost say it's deceiving. Damn, that Spider-Man fight was crazy epic. Crazy. Now that people are using Hulk first with the new dealer setup, I think that characters like I was using before, like, well, to kill him before, like Spider-Man and like Iron Man, I think they've kind of lost their value just a little bit in taking him down. But characters like Cable and Gambit have recently taken value of my teams again. So I'll be showcasing that in another video. Ever since right here, I do not trust Emma against him. Even though that Emma has killed him many times before, I just think that avoiding his skills manually with someone fast like Sentry, Silver Surfer, or Doom is the easier way to go rather than using a meta like Emma Frost whose better situations are in against fights with Hulk and Warlock and maybe Thanos rather than Sentry or Gore or even like Black Widow or like Null Spider-Man. I mean, when people build their teams, they have to build their teams with, with, with purpose and know that, you know, the person starting probably is going to have a revive with debuff removal. The person on the left is going to be somebody with one life that could take on, you know, Warlock with, you know, skills in between Warlock skills. Or, you know, maybe have somebody on the right that has Reflect, like, specifically for Thanos at a specific moment. Like, I, I like to have teams that are ready for any situation, but it's hard to read every single situation, so... My teams could sometimes work really well against one team, but won't work against another. That's the challenge I've grown to like with Timeline Battle, even though my ratio is kind of taking a toll for it. But at the end of the day, I'm having fun and that's all that matters. That is awesome. And that will always be why Chi is a god. Now I'm going to show you why Gore can be useful. So 4, cancel 3, cancel 2. And you can see I have destruction so it started to penetrate through. And if you use 2 at the right moment, it removes buffs under the penetration. Against Emma 2, same thing. 4, cancel 2, very, very simple. And then look at this. You, you use 3 and 3 super guard breaks while you're dead. That's very useful. The only thing I, I hate about Gore is that, for example, if you get killed by a Warlock and then Warlock immediately does an iframe after, Gore is just stuck in like revive limbo until you die again. And I think that's just another rushed element of gore that needs to be fixed. And it's just completely ridiculous. Like sentries, silver surfers, revives, they're both extremely fast or less than a second. Gore's flashy little revive animation doesn't need to be so flashy when it kills him. Yeah, so 
So if I only use four right away, I could get caught. But there I hold the four. I'm still guard breaking him with four. I just showcased that. And then I'm gonna showcase him in a situation where, okay, he's level 55. I know he's not gonna be able to kill Hulk. You could see that I used the, the first skill to my advantage because it was quick. And I utilized his invincibility. So I was able to dodge him and switch to another character to kill Hulk as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Dormammu is a very, very underrated character. And so is Shang-Chi. And I will be happy to use them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be making the next one. And stay tuned for Mephisto coming soon. Take care, guys.